The focus of this video is Spigelian hernia, sometimes also called as Spigelian hernia. We'll find out what it is, what are the symptoms, how do you diagnose it, and how do you treat it. In this cartoon of the abdomen, we can see the two central strap muscles called the rectus abdominis on either side. They have a covering, a very tough sheath at the front and at the back. However, the sheath at the back is deficient just below the midpoint of the muscles. On the sides are three layers of muscles and it is at this meeting point where a weakness may arise, giving rise to the spigalian hernia as seen over here. In the abdomen, you would expect the swelling to arise in the points outlined up and down the same line, but more likely to be in the lower half for reason I've described. In this picture of a patient just before an operation, you can see the lump to the side. In this cartoon, we can see a loop of bowel coming through the defect and forming a bulge on the abdomen. Importantly, it is this site, the neck of the hernia, which can be very tight in this hernia, causing strangulation. It is also different from other hernias in so much as it carries the most superficial layer of the abdominal wall called the external oblique eponeurosis as it goes through. This has significance for the surgeons wish to treat the hernia from the front. This type of hernia may not have any symptoms to begin with and may be picked up on scans performed for other reasons. It may lie invisible for long periods of time and still be the cause of discomfort and pain, mainly because of its anatomy in so much as it always has a cover of the most superficial layer of muscle. However, it can cause pain, appearance of a lump, discomfort, the lump may go in and out to begin with, but it is a lot worse after activity or anything that increases the abdominal pressure. The pain may be dragging or burning in type. These hernias are specifically prone to strangulation and a fair proportion of these are diagnosed as an emergency and require urgent treatment. A strangulated hernia typically is very painful, hard, it does not go back in and may have other symptoms such as abdominal pain away from the site of the hernia as well, vomiting and significant debility. The diagnosis is clinical with a surgeon examining the patient both standing up and lying down, diagnosing the lump and making sure that it's a hernia by checking whether or not it goes back into the abdomen called reducibility and checking for cough impulse or a thrill when the patient coughs which is transmitted through the hernia. In addition, an ultrasound scan may be performed, which is operator dependent, and in this case, a CT scan or an MRI is preferable for definitive diagnosis. In this instance, we can see a hernia on the left side where a defect can be seen over here on a CT scan, which would not have been apparent otherwise. Once diagnosed with this condition, it is best to consider an operation because of the risk of strangulation, as can be seen in this cartoon of, an, of a loop of bowel going through the hernia. The surgery can be performed through the open route by making an incision at the front and dissecting down to the hernia, but it is important that the surgeon recognizes that the hernia is hiding beneath the superficial layer of muscle external oblique, push the hernia back, and then reinforce the front with a mesh once the hernia has been brought together with sutures. The hernia can also be repaired through the laparoscopic or robotic route and this is a view from the inside showing the defect. This approach is preferable for small hernias which are not visible on the outside or which are difficult to detect. On the inside this defect is brought out, the hernia repaired and then a mesh placed on top to stop the hernia recurring. Recovery from operation can be quite quick for small hernias repaired either through the open or the laparoscopic route. Emergency surgery requiring bowel removal and making a new join as well as a hernia repair require the patient to stay in the hospital for several days with a longer recovery time. This completes this topic. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please do share.